This is Dr. Rob Rosbrook doing an animation of distal femoral osteotomy. This patient has a valgus or knock knee deformity and mechanical axis planning shows there's 12 degrees of deformity. This allows us to plan the size of the open wedge We make a four inch incision on the lateral aspect of the leg. We dissect the vastus lateralis anteriorly exposing the lateral aspect of the femur. I use a titanium plate as a stabilization and I also use this as a template for choosing my osteotomy location. The position and orientation of the osteotomy is planned with a wire and then is executed with a microsagittal saw done while cooled with saline to avoid thermal necrosis. Retractors are placed to protect soft tissues. Care is taken to avoid cutting the medial cortex to, rem to uh, keep the osteotomy stable. Laminar spreaders are then used to distract and open the osteotomy on the lateral side based on the preoperative templating. You'll notice that the open wedge corrects the valgus deformity and this is checked in the operating room with a hip to ankle line. The titanium plate is then inserted into the optimal location to stabilize the osteotomy and provisionally fixated. Stabilization with locked titanium screws into the plate is performed. I typically use four bicortical screws in the proximal segment and five locked screws in the distal segment. This provides excellent stability. Patients are allowed to uh, bear partial weight and move their knee without difficulty. Casting and bracing is not necessary. The open wedge osteotomy is then filled with a synthetic bone graft this area has high healing potential and autograft is not necessary. We're also using transexamic acid during this surgery to minimize blood loss. A drain is placed and the incision is closed in layers. An acute correction has been accomplished so the patient leaves the operating room with a straight leg Hip to ankle line goes through the center of the knee. Crutches for four to six weeks um, lead to full healing. Thanks for your attention.